In her Marshfield studio, Laura Tryon Jennings gives life and color to her latest work of art. For more than three decades, she has been sharing her talents on canvas. I just always loved to draw. You couldn't get me to do anything else, really. My mother would send me outside, out the driveway. I'd stand down there for the appropriate amount of time before I could come back in and then start drawing. Tryon Jennings never questioned the path. It kind of chose her. Like many artists, her creations are reflective of her own experience. Her early works were bright and chaotic, like the young mom's life. There was a much more busyness going on and the colors were more jewel-like. That was what I was going through in my life, though. I didn't realize it at the time until I had my first solo show and I had all the paintings around and all of a sudden I looked at them and I thought, wow, this is like looking at a visual journal of my entire life. But in 2004, there was a big shift. Her mother was diagnosed with cancer. And in her mother's final days, Tryon Jennings focused on the simple pleasures of life. A big bowl of Cheerios, because it was one of the few things that she could eat at the end with cancer. <clears throat> and then she drank tea. So there were teacups in there. And we had a connection about shells that goes back years and years and she had a thing for pretty linens. As her own turns of the brush were influenced by grief, her art changed again. When my mom died, my palette changed to be more subdued. Window vistas became more important. The paintings became more reflective. She wondered in that quiet reflection whether she could help others express themselves through art. I didn't realize that there was an expressive arts piece happening, but it was the beginning of that for me because the serial was such a cathartic thing for me to paint and it was so helpful that I thought there must be another way for people that aren't even artists to be able to do this, to be able to get that expressive piece out. At first, I didn't even tell anyone. Joanne Lespazo has been battling leukemia for 11 years. She says she had always faced the challenges in her life, but this was different. When people tell you you have cancer, I mean, that's pretty scary. A fear that was crippling. She connected with Tryon Jennings, who had begun teaching cancer patients expressive arts. Some people can't say things verbally about what's going on for them. It's, they don't even, it's really hard to tap into what, they know something's wrong, but they can't quite figure out what it is. And so your body, your inner language can't lie to you. Tryon Jennings calls it image making. It's not really about a pretty picture. It's a process of seeing and maybe being surprised by what you see and you say, oh, Margaret Crawford works as a hospice nurse. You just have a lot of emotion out there and a lot of, you know, scattered thoughts. And so this helps you to, like, outpour that onto the paper. The therapy starts with a private, guided conversation. A real therapeutic, holistic, like an internal way of getting your heart and your mind to have an inner dialogue together. So you're right and your left sides of your brain. The result may look like scribbles, but it is actually emotion on paper. The first picture a reflection of now. This was, you know, flashing pain, the acute phase and the chronic phase. The second, a window into where the artist wants to go. The expression and then the transition that you would like to see. So one was a pile of debris and the next one was more organized. So it was kind of where I was and what I wanted. Three women on different journeys, connecting with their own feelings through the colors of life. You have to have a lot of courage, I think, to be vulnerable because I didn't realize to actually ask for help and to allow people in in that kind of way. Laura Tryon Jennings' award-winning art is displayed in locations around the world, including in the homes of Grammy award-winning winning singer-songwriter Bruce Hornsby and journalist Joan London, and also on the walls at Harvard University and several major corporations. In addition to her work in expressive arts, she also teaches oil painting on the South Shore. Coming up, moving through the pain.